What's the difference between a script analyst, a script consultant, and a script doctor? Oh, I love that question because it always comes up and people tend to get confused with the three. But I always say it goes sort of in stages. So a script analyst, you graduate to script consultant, and then you graduate to script doctor. So the script analyst will be the way you would start in the business if this is what you want to do. You know, you want to work in development or something like that. Well, maybe even before that, you would be an intern or something, you know, just like reading scripts, providing coverage, uh, a lot of times unpaid, you know, for different agencies or things like that. And that's when you start, you know, polishing and honing your skills reading. Uh, but after that, you would start maybe hopefully getting paid to read those scripts. And that's what would make you a script analyst, you know? Uh, that's the way I got started in the business. I started interning and then I got promoted to script analyst and I would just read hundreds of scripts a year and provide like simple coverage, you know, to producers or agents, whoever you're working for. Uh, because obviously they can't read all of the scripts that come to their desk, right? So you would read their scripts and give like overall notes, uh, whether this is working or not, what could be improved, if there's the seed of an idea there, because sometimes, you know, you're also looking for that and then they might hire another writer <laughs> to improve the script. So you're trying to look for different things like that, depending on who you're working for. Um, and then uh, once, you know, you've been working on it for a while and then you realize, oh, I'm actually good at this, you know, like I can give notes and I can start working maybe in that path. Then you could graduate to script consultant, as I would call it. And then you start giving more in-depth notes. So, for example, I like to call it like in-depth notes more than just script analysis at that stage when you're a script consultant because you're not just giving like the overall notes. You're not just analyzing if a script is working or not, maybe here and there, but you're going deeper. So um, I always say that you should provide development notes and page notes, which are equally important to me. Development notes is where you're analyzing all aspects of the script, right? Like. Uh, the structure, the dialogue, the characters, uh, how the arcs are working, the turning points, everything. And then page notes are equally important because there are things that you're noticing literally on the page and you start marking down maybe something that doesn't track or something that contradicts something that you said or something that you missed or a character that just happens to appear and it wasn't set up or something like that. Uh, so those two things kind of complement each other. And the script consultant uh, depending on who they're working for, right? Sometimes they're working for a producer or sometimes they're working directly with the writer. They would provide these notes and then the writer would implement the notes, hopefully, in the script if they like or if they agree with them or something. Obviously, it's never just like apply that exact no note. I always give suggestions, as I call it, because I think that it's the note behind the note a lot of times. And I'm never trying to tell my story when I give notes like that. It's the way to elevate the writer's story, uh, not like impose my thoughts. And then after you've been working as a script consultant for a while, then I say you graduate to script doctor, which is a step further there where you also implement the notes that you're suggesting. And it goes a little further than that uh, because you sort of work with the writer or the producer, whoever is hiring you to do it. Uh, to find the best way to continue telling that story and remaining true to the essence of what the story is, you know? And elevating, maybe sometimes it's just one area, you know? Maybe it's a dialogue pass, or maybe it's the protagonist arc that is just not clear enough or something like that. So you're working on polishing that, uh, but I always say that, I, for example, I provide the notes, you know, like the development notes, the page notes, but then I like to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with whoever I'm working so we can agree on a course of action. Because again, I don't like to say like, oh, this is my story now and I'm gonna tell it a certain way. I like to stay true to the story the person is trying to tell. So I like to find a point where we come together before I even touch the script and start making those changes that I suggested before because obviously it's their story, right? It's not like I'm being hired as a writer, which is the different from a script doctor. Uh, I'm not getting that writing credit, right? A script doctor comes in and they don't do a full rewrite that just gives you that, that writing credit. You kind of remain anonymous, right? Sort of as a ghost writer. So you need to be, you know, talking to your client and analyzing what they want, and that's what you're trying to tell. 
And so for a first time writer who's new at this, has never hired an editor for a book or anything, what should they be looking for? A, a script doctor, consultant, and, and anything in, in the notes of who they are maybe for new writers? Oh, I like that question. Uh, well, it's always hard, I feel, because writers are looking out there and there's a million services, right? You're starting to Google like, oh, who could read my script, you know, and you find so, so many resources out there. And a lot of writers obviously first start, you know, with their peers, which is, it's good. It's, you know, with hopefully other writers, not just your friend who doesn't really know how to read your script, but you start getting notes like that. But once you're serious about it, you know, you've written a couple of drafts and you really want to take it to the next level. I say that a script consultant is what you want. And I always like to say that I prefer people go to script consultant with a name and not just, you know, sending it to maybe a service that just sends your script to an anonymous person in the sense that you know who's reading it, you know they have credits, they have a background, they have the experience. Obviously, sometimes in contests you get, you know, the free feedback and that's great, but if you're really paying just for the feedback, I think that you want to know that the person who's reading it is someone with credentials and not maybe just the intern that's interning for the contest. I'm not diminishing the notes that they can give. They can be great notes, but obviously you also get what you pay for. So if you're going with a script consultant, I like to look for a name, you know? I myself, when I write, I also send my work out there. Uh, I work mostly these days as a script consultant or doctor, but when I do some writing, I do like to send it out because you're always too close, obviously, to your own material. To see and getting those notes is always incredibly beneficial.